The Ford F-150 Lightning is currently not selling very well, and it's lead to quite an amazing story, an up and a down, a roller coaster of this particular vehicle. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know and stick around because Ford Motor Company has discounted the price of the F-150 Lightning almost $10,000. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. And today we're just gonna jump straight into the content and talk to you a little bit about all of these pricing changes and why I believe these pricing changes are being made on this particular truck. So first things first, let's talk about way back in the day. Let's talk uh, December of 2021. Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com came out with an article that quoted Ford Motor Company as having 200,000 reservations on the new F-150 Lightning. At the time it was a 2022 model. Model year. The reason that's important is because they were saying that they were sold out for three years worth of production at their current estimates. Now keep in mind, you know, microchip shortages, lots of different issues kept Ford from being able to build all of the trucks that they really wanted to. But let's talk about what happened in the first quarter of 2023, which is the current year that we're in. So plenty of time later, we're talking about in that whole quarter, they built 4,291 vehicles in the whole first quarter. And if you annualize that, you're talking about 17,000 trucks per year. And so just kind of keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at what's going on right now as I'm recording this video. If you go to Ford.com and go to the building price, which is a place that you can actually order your F-150 Lightning, it actually tells you that if you order the vehicle online right now, you can have that vehicle in as little as three months. But not too long ago, they were saying they were sold out for three years. And it hasn't been three years since that article came out. And, you know, just keep in mind that there's a lot of things that have changed recently. So why do I think that the F-150 Lightning sales have fallen off of a cliff? Well, number one, reservations do not equal sales. Keep in mind, I'm not bashing on the F-150 Lightning because I've got one. I've had it for over a year now and I've got 15,000 miles on it. And I freaking love that truck. It has been amazing. Now, there has been a couple of different things that I've actually had pop up, maybe an issue or two. Not going to document those in this video. If you want to watch a video about that, make sure you subscribe to our other channel, which is Drive Electric, which is everything about electric vehicles. I normally don't talk about EVs all that much on this channel because what we found is most of you guys are just like me and you like your big trucks and your big V8s and superchargers and I'm with you there as well. I love it. But I also love the EV side of things and I realize it's just a different tool to get the job done. But why in the world do I think that Ford Motor Company has had a hard time selling these F-150 Lightnings? I don't think it's the vehicle because the, the vehicle is a rock star. The reason I believe is solely, I'm talking about 100%, 50-50. Uh, uh, I think a little bit of it might be interest rates. The rising interest rates makes things a little bit more unattainable uh, for a normal person that might be buying a vehicle that's a little bit out of their budget, if you know what I mean. But the other side of that is just purely the pricing, which also goes into the payment, but that's a that's you know a separate conversation. You know, when Ford announced this brand new F-150 Lightning, they announced it at a price starting under $40,000, $39,000 and some change. And that's an incredible price point. And I think that's one of the reasons they got so many reservations right there from the jump street. What I want to do though, is kind of show you the evolution of the F-150 Lightning pricing. And I'm going to do that with an example that's very similar to, to what I've actually gone through. Let's use my exact vehicle, uh, which is by the way, a 2022 F-150 Lariat Lightning extended range with max trailer tow package. That was mouthful. <laughs> My particular F-150 Lightning, I want to reiterate, was a 22 model, and that vehicle had an MSRP of $80,094. But really, when you factor in destination and delivery and you take that out, the MSRP of the vehicle was $78,299. That's important because when you look at the federal tax incentive, the IRA, Inflation Reduction Act, a $7,500 tax credit, it's based on the MSRP before the destination and delivery. So a 2022 model had $78,000 roughly MSRP. And then on the exact same vehicle, which had actually had a few deductions because of microchip shortage, the price went all the way to 86,500. And if you're quick at math, you know, that's an $8,200 price increase for a vehicle that's equipped exactly the same with the exception of it didn't have like heated steering wheel and uh, a couple of other things. And maybe, maybe heated seats or something like that, but you're talking about an $8,200 swing. But when you also factor in the fact that it's over $80,000 and it 
no longer qualifies for that $7,500 tax credit, that's a total swing of $15,700 for the same vehicle. $16,000 difference for the exact same vehicle. If that's not a great way to dampen sales, um, I don't know what is. Now, I understand why Ford did it. There was rising prices of particular minerals and it's expensive to build you know, electric vehicles. And there was a lot of dealers that, not us, we sold every one of ours at MSRP, but there was a lot of dealers that were screwing customers and charging 10, 15, 20 grand over sticker. And Ford's like, well, hmm, hey, if the dealers can get it, why can't we get it? And so they rose the MSRP. There's a lot of different reasons and a lot of those reasons are justified. But I do think that had a a significant reason for the decline of the F-150 Lightning sales. So now what's going on now? Well, effective on July 17th of 2023 and forward, Ford Motor Company is updating the pricing of the F-150 Lightning again, but in this time they're doing it the opposite way. Now the Lariat Lightning extended range actually starts at $77,495. And after you factor in the Max Trailer Tow Package, the pricing is nearly back to exactly where it started, which is where I think a lot of people are going to be pumped up because you get that tax incentive. You get the $10,000 in some situations off of the MSRP of the vehicle. And really that particular lightning, you're talking about $16,000 cheaper than it was yesterday. And if that don't drive some sales, I don't know what is. Now, keep in mind, not you know, you still got the interest rates are going to be playing a factor in all of this, but $16,000 for the exact same vehicle, you know, that, that, that's a lot of savings that happened literally overnight. Now I'm curious if you took a delivery of a lightning yesterday, how do you feel? How do you feel today? I know that uh, I'd be a little pissed off, but if you haven't taken delivery, let's in fact, we've actually got a customer that's here taking delivery of a lightning right now. And he is super pumped because we got, we're able to, Hey, guess what? I just saved you almost 10 grand. What? He couldn't believe it. Now his was a platinum, so it doesn't qualify for the inflation reduction act um, tax credits anyways, but still 10 grand is better than a stick in the eye. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you think this is the reason that the F-150 sales for the lightnings have not been where Ford wants? them? Or is it some other reason? Like maybe the country's not used to or ready for electric vehicles at this point. I do know that I've driven mine all over the place and I absolutely love it, but I understand it. If I live in Montana and I tow a trailer everywhere that I go, it may not be the best thing for me because the range is significantly reduced, but I don't tow very much. And when I do, it's not going to be very long distances and I can do that all in one charge. So it's not for everybody, but it is working for me and it might work for you. Let me know down in the comments below which camp you fall into. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out that Drive Electric YouTube channel that I talked about earlier if you're interested in more EV news and things like this. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.